Gildan Media presents Your Coach in a Box, affordable, life-changing audio programs. Thirty Lessons for Living, Tried and True Advice from the Wisest Americans, by Carl Pilmer, Ph.D. Narrated by Sean Pratt. Chapter One. Who are the wisest Americans, and what can they tell us? Finding the right mate and staying happily married for your whole life. Raising children who turn out well and enjoy your company. Discovering work you love. Growing older gracefully and without anxiety. Avoiding major regrets. Reaching the end of life with a sense of completion and fulfillment. This may sound like a wonderful prescription for a life well lived, but where can we find the guidance we need to accomplish these goals in our lives? If you picked up this book because the title caught your eye, you've probably asked yourself that question. And my goal in writing it has been to provide you with concrete, practical advice about how to make the most of your life in precisely those ways. But first, I need to let you know who these wisest Americans are. And what kind of a guide this is, as you will find out, it's different from any kind of advice book you've heard before.、And、that's because it taps a unique source that has been around for millennia, but is almost forgotten in contemporary society. Americans seek advice with an appetite that seems to be insatiable. We watch televised experts in the hope of finding solutions to interpersonal problems, financial woes, and sexual dysfunction. We read advice columns and go to seminars. We consult self-improvement websites, and we buy books. There are more than thirty thousand self-help titles in print in the United States today, and it's estimated that Americans will spend close to one billion dollars buying them this year. Let me make a confession: I am something of an advice junkie myself. I am the kind of person who goes directly to the self-help aisle in a mega bookstore. For almost every topic I am interested in, you will find a relevant advice volume in my bookcase. My family has learned to ignore my reading aloud from the daily paper, the latest tips on getting organized, reducing stress, investing for retirement, or whatever the problem of the day happens to be. I know I'm not alone in these activities. It seems like almost. Sample complete. Ready to continue.